Hey, welcome to Bible study. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but over the last four weeks, we've been doing a treasure hunt. Um, typically, we leave a little clip right at the end of Bible study, gives you a hint as to what's going on, what we're giving away. This week, we're giving away a pair of glassy sunglasses. Maybe not these ones, if this isn't your style, but you can pick pick a pair out. Um, Stay tuned, okay, till the end of Bible study, and I'll give you a little tip on how to enter to win those, those sunglasses. But we've been going through this series uh, called I Am, uh, How Do I Know I'm Saved? Am I Saved? Um, like, how can I tell what is the evidence in my life um, that, that says, like, I'm saved and that I'm going to heaven? Uh, so for the last four weeks, we've been talking about the fruits of the Spirit. Um, we've gone through love, joy, peace, patience, um, and today we're going to be going through kindness. Okay, so these things, if you are saved, should naturally be flowing from your life. Um, in other words, so when you're saved, God gives you the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit uh, guides you and produces these things in your life. So today's topic is kindness. If you are saved, um, if the Holy Spirit actually lives inside of you, then you should be growing in kindness. Uh, kindness is the quality of being friendly, generous, benevolent, and considerate of others. So smile at somebody when they're walking by, you know? How, how's it going? Say hi to somebody that you don't... Hold the door open, you know? When somebody's walking in behind you, you know, wait, hold the door open for them. Um, Maybe even offering your parents uh, some help with the chores. Um, com complimenting somebody genuinely. Like, not just, hey, you know, I like your shoes, but like, uh, you're very intelligent and you're really hardworking and that really inspires me uh, to do better. You know, genuinely compliment someone. Uh, let somebody else go first when you're at the skate park and like you see that dude across on the other side and it looks like he's ready to drop in and get his trick. You know, let him go first. Um, learn somebody's name. You know, there's some people in our lives that we see on a regular basis, like the guy at the gas station or, you know, whatever, and get to know their name and then say hi to them when you see them. Um, so there's all kinds of different ways that we can be kind to one another. Ephesians 4, 32 says, Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. So the point is this, right? God is kind. Romans chapter 2, Paul, he's writing to some guys who were uh, pretty judgmental towards others, and he's saying to them, uh, do you presume on the riches of his kindness? Do you presume on the riches of God's kindness towards you? Um, God has been forgiving of you. God has been patient of you, with you. Um, are you presuming on that, right? Not knowing that God's kindness is meant to lead you into repentance. So we've sinned against a holy and righteous God, and we don't deserve to live. But yet God sent Jesus to die on the cross and pay the penalty for our sin in our place out of his kindness, right? God is so kind to us. And that's why in Ephesians 4.32, what we were reading here, it says, Be kind to one another, right? Tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. So this is one way to know that God lives in your heart, that, that the Holy Spirit is present in your life. Are you kind to others? Are you ever expanding in your kindness towards others? So this is the challenge for the week, okay? Do one random act of kindness this week, whether it's small or big, doesn't really matter. Just do one thing that is kind for someone else. And then I want you to smile, take a photo of yourself smiling, and DM that photo to JSON Ministries uh, to be entered in to win a pair of glassy sunglasses. Be kind, okay? That's the challenge. Do one random act of kindness this week and just be kind to those who are around you. I will see you next week.